Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir. On today's episode, we're taking a look at Joe Thornton's recently listed San Jose, California home. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we love about this house. We like the curb appeal. This seems okay for Northern California. We like that you can pull up and park right next to the front door. There's nothing like pulling up to your mansion, getting out of your car, and walking right in. We love when there's a side door that gives you access to the garage. Inside, we love this shofar. We love this kind of rocker light switch that's throughout the home. In the living room, we love the girth of this fireplace. We love this eat-in kitchen area. Having a great place to eat is one of the most important things you could have in a home. We love carpet in the main bedroom. We love this outlet location next to the bed. With an outlet in this position, there's no need to hunt for the cord anymore on the ground. We love the tub in the main bathroom. This is almost perfect, except that the window needs to be a little bit lower. There's ample room around the tub for wine, snacks, and maybe even a fondue set. This also seems like it would work well for a group event. If there's no splash problem, we love having no door to the shower. When it comes down to it, we're all pretty lazy and doors are annoying. This backyard is maximum chill. It's got this amazing view. It looks awesome at night too. Oh look, there are no hell palm trees in the distance either. We love the infinity pool. We love that the hot tub is pretty much separate from the pool. And finally, we actually love these trees that are over to the side. Growing old is seeing a nice tree and saying to yourself, damn, that's a nice tree. Here's what we hate about this house. I hate how tiny the front door is. Why is this side door better than the front door? When I'm president, this kind of thing will be illegal. We hate how small some of these front windows are. We hate this gutter, and this gutter, and this gutter, and this gutter. We hate thinking about what kind of Roomba army we're going to need in this place. We'll need at least four to six of them to keep this place clean. We hate this chandelier. You know who doesn't hate it though? Moths. We hate two level islands, and we hate this thing above it. If I turn this, will it take us to another dimension? We hate that the fridge is almost not even in the kitchen. It looks like they forgot about it and added it later. It's way over here on the side. The hinges are also not properly set up. We hate this tile backsplash. Put this one in the history books as one of the worst backsplashes we've ever seen. We hate this kind of light switch. You can never remember which button does what. Even though we love this sauce area, every good sauce area needs a sink. Oh no, they brought the backsplash into the powder room as well. How could you do this to us? We hate this picture frame clutter next to the toilet. We hate the full kitchen set up in the guest apartment. Like why'd they tuck the range over here in the corner? And the tiny fridge right here? What kind of oven is this? The fact that it doesn't line up above hurts my heart. Finally outside, we hate that they tuck the grill over here in the wall. This seems like it was an afterthought. We hate that there are no heaters in the ceiling. And finally, we hate that they left the vacuum in the pool for the photo. This home ranked 3 out of 5 on the homies home ranking scale. What did you rank it? Welcome to the Stats After Show where we take a deeper look into the stats. I think this is our first time to go to Northern California and I'm not so familiar with the market there. The price per square foot seems okay. The view is awesome. I didn't know you could get views like this up there. Thanks to everyone who sent this listing in. I didn't know I had so many hockey fan followers. I guess he's pretty good at hockey. He's also pretty tall. I think he's 6'4". I think he was traded to Toronto or something else and that's why he's selling to get out of here. See you all next episode.